Hi, hello, good evening. Today, I will use the IELTS textbook 2, and uh, yesterday I finished the part 2, so I'm going to proceed to part 3, discussion topics, different kinds of tourist attractions. The example questions, the first one, what are the most, uh, most popular tourist attractions in your country? So, okay, mm, let's see, I think recently the Japanese prices is very low, so that, uh, that fact attracts the foreign people to come to Japan, and uh, I think uh, that brings foreigners to Japan, and uh, many people go to the metropolitan area in Tokyo, and uh, they I think they purchased many things, for example, iPhone from iPhone to grocery or something like that. So that is the main attractive in Japan. So, but actually, I don't feel I don't feel happy to hear that because uh, two or two or ten years ago, the Japanese prices is not so good and not so cheap and. Uh, even we, even the end was so strong and uh, which is very easy to go to other countries and uh, I feel that the country's price is uh, very low and I can purchase anything and I can, um, I could uh, experience many things with uh, very small money but uh, recently it is uh, uh, in contrast, in contrast, many foreigners can uh, come to Japan very easy price with very at easy cost uh, at a very low cost, and uh, they can experience many things at very low cost too. So that attracted that attracted many people to Japan. And, uh, and uh, on the contrary, on the contrary, it is tough for us to go to the other country because the ink is very weak and uh, actually the COVID-19 is getting uh, low, the number of COVID-19 is getting low. So I want to go to other country in the future, but uh, actually it is very hard for us to use uh, a lot of N to in the other country. For example, the dollar, dollar is very strong. So, so I think I think I have to one point five times uh, in United States if I will go to go there, and uh, if I would live there, I would had I would have to I would have to a lot of money and. Uh, I, I think I couldn't, I can't, I actually can't live there, my current, my current um, salary, so that is very tough thing, and, uh, oh, okay, 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 return to the, return to the main content, so the next question, how the types of tourist attractions that younger people like to visit compare with the, those that older people like visit. For younger people, I think uh, many younger people, people don't like to go to temple or shrine and uh, but actually it is not so, it is very impressive for some of the younger people but uh, they, have, they are very energetic, energetic and I think uh, they um, often go to the metropolitan area Tokyo and especially in Lopongi. Now Lopongi has a, there are a lot of clubs in Lopongi, so they go to the younger people go to the Lopongi club and they can they can uh, dance or drinking a lot of alcohols and uh, around the clocks. That is very fun. I, I can understand. I can of course understand that, that is very fun for younger people because uh, they are very energetic and they have a lot of power to play in the night, through the night. So, so compared to older people, and uh, I think older people go to the more silent area, more silent area, for example, temple or mountain, or they 
uh, they tend to go to the natural area, for example, around Tokyo. Around Tokyo, they go to the Nikko, which is which has a very good shrine on temple, and the shrine the temple are in the forest. So that is very silent, and uh, that is a little bit spiritual, and they can get uh, some energy from the natural and the, such a very sacred uh, uh, buildings or something like that. So that's why all the people like, I, I guess the all the people like go to such a silent place, I think. And the next question. So do you agree that some tourist attractions should be free to visit? Okay, it's a tough question. Uh, yes, of course, I think so. Because uh, the um, standpoint, the strategic, strategic standpoint, from the strategic standpoint, of the nation, I think some uh, some tourist attractions should be free because uh, they entice many people from foreigner and uh, other uh, from foreigner or domestic people, and uh, and uh, such a people who come to the attraction they use many money, a lot of money. Uh, in the stores or restaurants, uh, which is uh, alongside the ma main attractions, so mm, that is the most in in very that is very impact thing, uh, that has a strong impact to the uh, local economic and uh, the shop or shop the shop owners or restaurant owners can earn a lot of money and uh, they use uh, such a money that they need they use the money they earn from the tourist and uh, the local economy uh, would be would be getting glo be getting uh, getting uh, um, growth uh, growth a lot and uh, and the cycle of the economic car the economic car cycle rotates very fastly and uh, they can be can be rich easily and uh, the well here we are getting better, so that's why some attraction should be uh, free. But actually, that they, the fact needs a uh, strong strategy to to be attractive as a uh, landmark or something for the foreigners or tourists. Yeah, that's all, and that this is topic three. Ah, no. The next question, the importance of international tourism. Why is the tourism important to a country? <laughs> wow, it's a very abstract question. So I think because the uh, tourism is very important uh, for the um, country, uh, because uh, they can earn uh, money from other country and uh, the country's uh, welfare and the economic getting strong. That is very important thing for the people who live in the country because uh, mm, the country should purchase uh, some skills or some infrastructure from other country by use the other country's currency. So that's why mm, that is very important thing. Uh, the, for example, in Japan, uh, our country um, uh, our money, um, money from, uh money from other countries, for example, Britain or United States after World, world War II. So, and uh, our country could uh, became, became able to purchase a lot of skills and uh, some patent or or uh, uh or some in infrastructure and some resources from other country through the dollar so that is a very um, very uh, very good uh, yeah, very good ex example to why the country should be or uh, the why the tourism is very important for the countries so, and the next question, what are the benefits to individual of visiting another country as a tourist? So, especially younger people, I think that is very important because uh, 
they can they can touch the other country's culture and they can expand their horizon so that is very important because uh, such a horizon made uh, the younger people to more kindly because they can understand many pe many things and many people who who was born in other country and uh, who uh, who uh, who totally had uh, uh, different different thought so that is very important to understand another other people the uh, thought so that I, I think I hope I hope that that the, that the, the perspective of the younger people make will make the world peace because they can understand the, each other even each other even the one was born as a country and they grow in the they raise they rise they raise up we uh, uh, rise up raise up as a country's culture so that is very important thing i think so that's all goodbye